so we are done with this chapter let's just take a quick revision of what we've done in this chapter we have done what is demand we said demand is nothing but desire backed by ability to purchase and willingness to purchase these three together constitute demand in economics demand is also defined as various quantities of commodities which a consumer is ready to purchase at a given price during a given period of time in one market we also have done the determinants of demand what are the factors that influence demand what are the factors that impact demand and bring about the change in demand of a product the factors were price of the product the income of the household the income of the person that is the taste and preferences of the consumer the price of related goods and there were some other factors like the size of population the distribution of income so on and so forth then we did the types of demand types of demand that is the various types of demand and goods we've done producer and consumer goods then we've done durable and non durable goods in types of demand we've done producer goods and consumer goods producer goods are the goods which are produced for further production consumer goods are the goods which are actually purchased for final consumption and not for resale then we've done durable and non durable goods durable goods are the goods which have a longer life we do not tend to go to the market to buy the goods regularly it takes us 5 to 7 years to consume the goods or to repurchase the goods consumer goods are goods which have a shorter life we tend to purchase it in a recurring manner then we did long run demand and short run demand long run demand is the demand which we consider during a phase where the factors of production are fixed except for one only one factor is variable so during that period people take time to adjust long run demand is a demand during the period where all the factors of production are variable so producers consumers can adjust to the changes that are taking place in the market then we did derived demand and autonomous demand derived demand is the demand of a good that it derives from some other good it does not have any demand on its own it does not have its independent de demand but its demand is dependent on the demand of some other good thus we call it as derived demand whereas autonomous demand is a demand of good by its own use by its own qualities it is independent of demand of other goods so we call it autonomous demand then we did company demand and industry demand company demand is a demand from the point of view of a company whereas industry demand is a demand of all the companies in an industry taken together company demand is a subset of industry demand company demand is the smaller demand whereas the industry demand is a bigger demand then we did the law of demand the, the law of demand states ceteris paribus the quantity demanded of a good will rise with a fall in price and the quantity demanded of a good will fall with a rise in price ceteris paribus means all other factors remaining same all other factors remaining constant so which factor do we need to consider here the factor that we need to consider here is the price with a rise in price the demand will fall with a fall in price the demand will rise then we studied change in quantity demanded versus change in demand change in quantity demanded is a change 
that the demand gets due to change in price when price changes we tend to change the quantity that we demand we tend to change the quantity that we consume and if this is the case we call it change in quantity demanded however change in demand is because of change in a factor other than price it may be due to rise or fall in income level it may be due to rise or fall in the price of related goods it may be due to reduction in the size of population any other factor which affects demand finally we came to elasticity of demand we defined elasticity as the degree of responsiveness of demand to any of the factors that are being considered and the factors that we considered was price income and related goods in price elasticity we studied that demand responds to a change in price of the good when the price of the good is increased the demand falls and when the price of the good is decreased the demand rises but in elasticity of demand our endeavor is to measure the quantity of change so in price elasticity we measure as to how much did the demand change with a percentage change in price of the good same was the case in elastic income elasticity of demand in income elasticity of demand we try to quantify the effect of change in income on the change in demand in cross elasticity of demand we try to find out the change in the quantity demanded due to change in the price of related goods now related goods can be complements or they can be substitutes this brings us to the end of this chapter this chapter was on demand this is one of the important chapters uh, especially the elasticity of demand is an important topic so please try to master this chapter and elasticity of demand specifically to your fullest